Hey everyone, welcome back to Arthur Kenny Homestead. Now we recently put up our Istabreeze i1500 wind turbine that you see behind me on a mast that we built ourselves here on the property. Now so far it seems to be performing quite well and charging the system. But up until now we've had no exact figures on what the output from the generator actually is. The display on the control unit is fixed to read only battery voltage and what percentage brake is being applied. So we've no idea of what power has actually been coming out of the generator. So today we are going to fit this little gauge and this little hall sensor that we got off Amazon to get a reading of the amps that are flowing from the controller to the batteries. The wind speed today is 11 miles per hour which is roughly 5 meters a second, a little bit under. And in case the gauge doesn't work or is inaccurate, we're going to use our amps clamp and compare the two. So the first thing we have to do is build a little frame for the gauge to sit into and the sensor to attach to. We did this using some old plastic I had lying around the shed, just nice and handy, easy to work with. And then it's just a matter of wiring it up. The connections are very simple, just positive and negative. Connected into this the fuse board in the system already. Once it's all connected up, we can start to see if we're getting any readings. To start off, we set the multimeter to read DC amps to verify the accuracy of the gauge. Seeing as how the two readings are reasonably close together, we can assume that the gauge is working okay. Next, we switch the multimeter over to read AC amps, taking a pickup from one of the phases coming directly in from the generator. This way we could verify readings on one side of the control unit versus the other. The readings did seem to correspond reasonably well. One issue we found with the gauge itself is that it seems to go into sleep mode randomly and um, switch back on again whenever the power goes beyond a certain level which was a little bit annoying to deal with. Overall 8.3 amps was the highest reading achieved on the day in the 11 mile an hour winds. Okay, so let's review the results. And I hope you don't mind, I've had to write this down just so I don't miss anything. Now the wind speeds were 11 miles per hour, which is 4.8 meters per second. The peak reading we got a couple of times was 8.2 amps at 27.47 volts, and that works out at 225.25 watts. A mid-range reading was 4 amps at 26 volts, which is 104 watts, which isn't too bad. The official stats published by Istabreeze claim that at 4 meters per second you should get 100 watts, 5 meters per second should be 175 watts, all the way up to 14 meters per second, which is a 31 mile an hour wind, where you'll get the full 1600 watts. So it does appear that the claimed ratings for this product are indeed accurate, which is great news. Now, if you're considering buying one of these yourself, this one cost us 550 euros, not including delivery or the control unit to go with it. I hope you found this video helpful if you are considering buying one of these and I hope it inspires you to start building your own off-grid system. It's really easy and worth it in the long run. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and a like to keep in touch with our content as we publish it and get further updates on this machine's performance. Until next time, do take care of yourselves and I'll see you then.